Hey guys, welcome back. One of the most popular ROM called Lineage OS is now available for OnePlus 7 Pro. Official versions are still not available. It's an unofficial version maintained by one of the popular XDM member. Lineage OS is available for almost all the devices available in the market. Installation guide and the list of supported devices will be available in the description below. So I've already installed it on my OnePlus 7 Pro and I've been using since yesterday. Let me show you the software information by going to About Phone. Android version, here you can see Android version is 9, Lineage OS version is 16.0 which is an unofficial build, security patch is 5th June 2019, winter security patch is 5th August 2018. So this will be the first look of Lineage OS on your OnePlus 7 Pro, swiping towards the right hand side will open up Google feed, this is your quick setting panel and this will be your recent menu. Room includes applications like audio effects, jelly browser and Lineage OS camera. But I have installed Google camera application and which works fine. So link will be given in the description below. You just have to install it. Once you install, after that you just need to go to settings. Under about phone, just enable this option which is advanced mode. And you will have a fully working Google camera. All the basic features like 90Hz display works fine. Fast charging also works. But on the lock screen, it will always show charging slowly. But do not worry, the device charge pretty fast. So there are no issues with the charging. Fingerprint sensor doesn't have any kind of issues. Stereo speakers, media playback works fine. But I've noticed slight low audio output on this ROM. Alert Cider doesn't have any kind of issues. That also works fine. So now let's go inside the settings. Under network and internet, mobile data, Wi-Fi, hotspot. All these stuffs are working fine. But in rare cases, you'll see slight network drop issues. Bluetooth works fine. Under battery, we have battery manager, battery saver and performance in which you can enable extreme power saving mode. And you have few options to set automatic power saver mode once your battery percentage goes below 5%, 15% or 25%. And the battery backup is also pretty good. I've been using since yesterday. I got around 4 to 4.5 4 hours of screen on time. Then under display we have brightness level, automatic brightness works fine that is adaptive brightness, no issues at all here. Then we have style options in which you can choose this style where we have option of dark, light, automatic based on time of the day and automatic based on the wallpaper. And complete black theme looks really great on OnePlus 7 Pro. You have few options to change the ascent colors. We also have always on display available that also working fine. But in this only one issue, what I have noticed is pocket mode doesn't work. So whenever you keep your device inside the pocket, the screen doesn't turn off. After that, we have options like double tap to wake, double tap to sleep, wake up on plug. Everything is working fine. Then under sounds, we have Google sounds available, which you can change it from here. Under security and lock screen, I've already shown you fingerprint is working. With the previous builds, there were issues with the fingerprint scanner, but on this build, it is ultra fast and I have not noticed any kind of issues till now. Then we have settings under which we have options to customize the buttons. We also have few gestures available which includes touchscreen gestures, jump to camera, swipe up on the home button. So for navigation gestures, we have only this option. We don't have full screen gestures available on Lineage OS. As it's an unofficial build, so you won't be able to update directly from the system settings. Lineage OS is not one of the highly customizable ROMs, but it is very stable to be used as daily driver on your OnePlus 7 Pro, being an unofficial build. Battery also doesn't have any kind of issues. And if you talk about the performance part, I've got the good benchmark results in Android 2 and Geekbench application. So let's take a look at them. With Geekbench application, single core have scored 3417, wherein multi core have scored 10373. With Anto 2 benchmark application, device have scored 3,57,639. So guys, this was all about the unofficial Lineage OS for OnePlus 7 Pro. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. And from now, I'll be covering all the custom ROMs available for this device. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video. And if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.